Brandon, thank you, brother. Thank you for the five. He says, hypothetically, you was boys with Drake and he played you the album in the studio. Would you have kept it 100 and said it's not good enough? Uh, so if Drake played me this album, I'll tell you what I tell him. I say, Drake, th there's some good shit on here. Like, you, 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 first of all, you, you can't, like, if you're going to be a hater, like, niggas don't want haters, bro. Right? But you could you could be a real nigga and be a real critic, too. First thing I'm going to say, yo, oh, shit, now, you got some fire on here. But I'm going to be honest with you, they don't got no direction. This shit don't got no direction. Also, there's certain songs that I think is fluff. So you know what I would have done? I would have took the track list in, X this out, X this out, move this here, move this here. I probably have a space to say, hey, listen, let's try to figure out how we could package this album. What What is this album about? Let's package it. Let's add that a little bit into the, um, into the intro. All right, next thing I'm going to say is that, yo, nah, Drake, nah, I, I want you to go back in after J. Cole. Uh-uh, uh-uh, you need to body that nigga. I need that. On the intro, Drake, this album has about 10 beat switches. It's like you listen to the beat for 20 seconds, beat switch. And by the way, they're all great. It's a lot of great beat switches on the album. The first track where he starts off singing, I think it should be on some Tuscan Leather shit. Beat switch. I'm at y'all niggas next with the bars. Yes. What up? Talk to me. Yeah. So if, if, if you know, obviously, like, and by the way, this is a long shot because who could tell, like, li listen how Drake talked to Joe. And with all due respect, Kevin Durant never recorded a fucking song in his life. And I ain't no fucking platinum recording artist. So who could tell Drake? If, Dr if Drake is looking at Joe to say, nigga, you a failure, you dirt. How could you talk to me? What do you think the other people in the studio with Drake, what could they tell him? You know what I mean? So again, you would have to have that. You'd have to have his trust to even do that. I think Yachty got that trust. It's just that, I'm going to just be honest with you, I don't think Yachty no more Drake songs than me. But also, here's the thing, I don't think his goal was for Yachty to represent his core fans. I think Yachty, Yachty is, a, is a dope creative he likes and his friend, and he was trying to create this new thing. So, can't be knocking it. All right. Southside Chief, thank you, man. They say, yo... Ack, what up, man? Thank you for rocking the merch. I think, yeah, I think I got this from Southside Chief. I like, I like this hoodie. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, I met him in person at um my live show, and he actually gave me some shit. He said, You're "Almost done with your show recap." Oh, appreciate you. He said, "Almost done with your show recap." Is there any way I, I could get um Claudia for the cam shots? Hit her on Instagram. And when you come to Minnesota, yeah, uh, shit soon. The checker report. He says the album is incredible. Ack, nothing in the, the discography sounds like this. If Drake goes away for two years, like he said, y'all going to be glazing then. I do believe also because there's a lack of time and a lack of us really missing Drake, you know, we're taking a little bit for granted that he just gave us a whole project. And this is what I'm saying. Maybe this album will be appreciated much more a year from now if we don't get no Drake, new Drake music for a year. Hello, Cool Jace. Thank you uh, for the 10. He says, Ack, what do you think about the album? What do you think the album does for hip hop as a whole? Afro beats and Latin music's taking over. I feel like this album didn't help hip hop. I love the content. I agree. I agree. I agree. I seen somebody say something, and, and you know, I, I, I never called Drake a wave rider or a wave hopper, even though you could pop, like, you could use a definition without using the offensive. I think the term might come off offensive, but does Drake kind of dabble in other you know genres or other waves of course that's what makes him great if you ask me but again this was the first time when he was trying to adopt or adapt to something else whether it was this this newer contemporary type music it felt noticeable like before it wouldn't feel noticeable this time i felt it was noticeable i'm like oh drake's trying to have like like a newer flow and kind of hit these newer pockets it i felt like I, I felt him trying 
Yeah, no, no. He, he did. He did Afrobeats amazing. I think Drake with Afrobeats is, 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 is to keep it real. You know what's so funny? I think we all at this point, maybe, maybe while the moment was happening, we didn't appreciate it enough. We would all beg for a Drake dancehall album right now, or a Drake Afrobeats album right now. And when he was doing that in 2016. We were calling him Drizzy Marley. Like, we were taking it for granted, even though he was making great songs, like Control and shit like that. But right now, you, like, first of all, Afrobeats is lit. Like, we would want that to happen. Imagine if him, him and Burn, like, like with all the respect, like, no, no disrespect to Yachty, but, like, I would want him and Burn a boy to lock in for, like, a fucking project. Like, that would be amazing. That would be great, right? 250K, thank you for the uh, five. He says, yo, uh, I think Drake's always ahead of where music's going, so let's just wait and see how we feel about the album in a couple months. That's a good point, too. Um, um, Nova Jr., thank you for the uh, uh, $3 um, uh, Canadian. He says, act, been a big fan since Walk, man. And I guess Walk is war, war in Chirac? No, that would be Wick. I think you'd be war in Chirac, though. It's all good. He says, uh, I'm building up the courage to follow your step. Um, hey, listen, of course, you can do, do whatever you want to do. Uh, Kevin, he says, Ak, why you ain't talk about Drake responding on IG, but he won't respond on the wax after Joe bodied him? Th th those disses from Joe that are now going viral again, you know, this is from like 2016. So this is 2016 when Joe dissed him. He dropped three disses. Uh, Drake didn't even like respond. Drake just like, this is after he did uh, No Shopping pissed joe off and also i forgot what happened joe went crazy dropped three disses he never responded i think he responded on stage to joe and yeah joe never got a response on wax so those shits are old all right okay 